Hi everyone, it's Char here, and today's video is part of Christy Gets Crafty video blog hop for meeting a milestone in her YouTube subscribers. And I'm going to be making a card with this super cute set. This is an exclusive set to Simon Says Stamp for Stamp Timber, but designed for by Neat and Tangled. And I'm also going to be using this I Love Family paper pad from Echo Park. I just love the colors. It's very fall and I'm ready for fall. So I'm going to be making a fall kind of themed card today. So I've picked out this blue and I'm also going to use this flower print along with the yellow that's on the back side. So the first thing of course I'm going to do is stamp out my images here on some Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm going to stamp this cute little squirrel two times. I usually do this in case I mess one up. I have another one right there ready to color. And I'm stamping it in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to be coloring with Copic markers on this image. And then I'm also taking the little acorn that's in this set and I'm going to stamp it out quite a few times because I'm going to turn these into balloons. So the theme is celebration. So to me, balloons, you use those for celebrations. And I thought it would be cute to make the acorns into little balloons. So I'm speeding up my coloring here, but I'm just doing some quick Copic coloring using some warm grays for my little squirrel. And of course, I went all over with the lightest one first, and then I went in with the mid-tone. And then I'll go in with the dark, and then I'll blend them out. And I actually pulled out an even lighter one to color his belly and the inside of his tail. And I'm going to be adding some little rosy cheeks and pink to his ears. But I'm also using the very, very pale brown, an E000, to add to the belly and just give it a different tone than the body of the squirrel. And I pulled out some oranges that kind of match the orange in the paper that I pulled out there just to color his scarf and pull that color in a little more. Now to the acorns. I've got four earth tones here and I'm going to start with the two lightest to do the bottom of the acorn. And then I'm going to use the two darkest to do the top of the acorn. And these are all E20s. I think it's E21, 23, 25, and 27. And I'm going to color all those exactly the same, but I'm not going to show you me coloring all of them. Just the one. I went outside the lines a little bit, so I'm going in with the zero colorless blender to push that color back in. So now I've taken my paper trimmer and I've trimmed that blue piece down to fit the front of a card. And then I'm going to use this Tombow Extreme Adhesive to put that down on the card. And I'll just tell you right now that I got it crooked. So I had to very carefully pull it off, which is hard to do because it's the extra strong adhesive. And I decided for my second time I was going to go in with the liquid glue. Which... It's on my fingers a little bit, and I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. I try not to make a mess, but I inevitably get something sticky somewhere. But you can always clean up the edges with an adhesive eraser, and that works pretty well. So now I've got my little squirrel lined up where I want him, and I thought what I would do was use the sentiment from that set from Neat and Tangled, the circus set. And I was going to make it say hip hip hooray let's celebrate and kind of put it towards the top here where I have it. And by the way I used the coordinating dies for the set with the squirrel to cut those out. So I want to put some strips of these other patterned papers to the left side. And I'm just lining it up to see kind of the proportions that I want. So I'm going to cut it at an inch and a half. And that'll give me a good proportion on the side, but give me enough of the blue to where that squirrel doesn't feel kind of crushed by the papers that are on the left side. 
and I'm just trimming it to the right height here. And then I'm also going to take that same piece and trim a piece down that's only a quarter of an inch wide. And this I'm going to layer between the two pieces. Actually, I'm going to layer it on top of the, the flower piece. So the flower piece isn't actually going to be an inch and a half. It's going to be less by a quarter. So I've just got those pieces laying there so I can kind of organize where I want these acorn balloons to be. And I decided since I sort of covered up where I was going to put the sentiment with those papers that I was just going to put it at the bottom and I was just going to do the hip hip hooray part of it. So I'm going to add these two pieces to the side. Now that I feel like I've got the width and size of them the way I want them. And just carefully line that up with the side. And I'm not using the extreme tack stuff this time, so I feel a little better about it here. <laughs> then I'm actually going to use the liquid glue for the skinny one because sometimes it's hard to get that adhesive runner straight on such a small piece. And then this will let me move it around a little bit and make sure that it's lined up correctly with the edge of the paper that I'm gluing it on top of. So I want to make sure I cover up all that white that might show on the right side of this little strip. So now that I've got those pieces glued down on the side and they're not going to move any, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment down here in the bottom right corner. And I'm just going to be using some black VersaFine ink. I just feel like VersaFine makes a really nice crisp sentiment, especially because these letters on this particular stamp are kind of small and delicate. I want to make sure that it stamps really well and is bold and you can see it. So I'm adding some foam squares to the back of the squirrel here. And I'm not pulling the um, backer off of them just yet. I just want to get it on there so I can kind of visualize how I want these things to lay. And one of my little acorns didn't quite cut perfectly, so I'm actually going to make sure that the side that didn't cut well is hidden behind this acorn that I'm putting the adhesive on here. So this one I'm putting adhesive on, the one that it's going to cover up is just going to be glued right to the surface of the card. And then here I have some thin adhesive. So these adhesive um, foam squares are half the thickness of the ones I would just put on the other acorn. So it kind of gives you dimension between all three acorns without making the card super fat. So what I'm doing here is I'm just drawing a little dot with my pencil at the tips of all the acorns and I drew one behind the little squirrel's hand. So now I can stamp the little swirly that's in this set like a string and just basically connect the dots. And those little pencil marks are going to get covered up by the pieces that I glue down. So the one at the top is going to go behind this one. So I was just making sure that the end of it was going to be covered up. And then the one over here, I'm going to connect it down to kind of the squirrel dot. And it's not quite long enough. You can see that it just looks like he's holding one string at this point. So I'm going to do a little partial stamping. Please excuse my head. I was trying to line it up just to make that string a little longer. And then of course I need it to look like that string from the one up top is also continuing down to his hand. So inevitably I need three strings at the bottom here. So I'm going to go ahead and start sticking these down now that I've got my little strings stamped. And I drew the little dot such that it's going to be hidden underneath there, but if it wasn't going to be, you could just erase it. That's why I drew it with a pencil. This one I'm going to glue right directly down to the card. And then the third one is going to overlap it just like that. Now I can put my little squirrel like he's holding the balloons. I 
how cute is that? So I ended up realizing that it still looks like he's just kind of waving and there's these strings behind him. So I'm going to go in with a pin and just add a few more strings coming out the bottom. And this is just a fine tipped black pin. So this will make it look like they're all continuous a little more and he's actually holding them. And I traced over some of the stamped images of the string a little bit just to darken it up. Now I've got some brown uh, lawn fawn twine here and I'm just going to tie it around the top and have a little bow just to add a little more to that left side of the card. And I'm going to leave the tails really long so that they hang almost all the way down to the bottom. The good thing about this twine is you can kind of mess with it and kind of get it to stay where you want it to stay. Now I'm adding a little bit of the clear glitter overlay from the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen on just to the top parts of my acorns here because I'm incapable of making a card without a little bit of glitter it seems like. <laughs> So I'm just adding a sparkle just to the caps. And then I'm gonna use this black enamel accents and make a tiny dot. I was practicing right there just on his nose so that it has some dimension and some shine. And it is a tiny, tiny little dot. I'll show you here just how small that is. You can barely see it. And now these enamel dots are actually from Echo Park and they are the ones that match this paper collection from this paper pad. And I'm just using the red ones. I thought I needed to bring a little more red into the card. And I'm just gonna sprinkle those three, one of each size, just around the card. And that is the finished card. It is so cute. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. And I hope you enjoy the other videos on this hop. Bye.